Hello, I'm Brittany from the Sanders Hall Road store and today I'm going to show you how to dip a caramel apple. The first thing you want to do is select the size and type of apple you're going to use. We'll be using Fuji apples. Once you've selected the type of apple, you're going to want to wash the apples in a fruit wash to get all the wax, oils, and chemicals off the apples. And then you're going to want to let them dry for 24 hours. Once your apples have dried, you can now dip them. Today we'll be dipping ours in a soup warmer, but you can put them in a crock pot, a pan on the stove, or anything. But the key is you need to make sure that you have a cooking thermometer if you're going to use any of those other utensils. You want to make sure that you heat your caramel between 180 and 200 degrees, otherwise the caramel will not stick on the apple. While the caramel is heating, this is a good time to set up any of the things you'll be dipping in after caramel, like pecans, peanuts, m ms or Oreos. Also, you're going to want to stick your apples at this time. You want to stick them as close to the time that you'll be dipping them to make sure they'll be fresh. We've already stuck our caramel apples, so I'm going to go ahead and dip this one. You're going to want to take the apple and dip it completely into the caramel to make sure the entire apple is submerged and covered. You're going to want to wash your fingers and keep them at the tip of the stick to make sure you do not get burnt. Once the entire apple is covered in caramel all the way to the stick, you're going to pull it out and twirl it to get any excess caramel off. Once you've twirled it and it looks like a lot of the caramel's off, you're going to want to bring it to the side and continue to twirl to see the bottom of the apple to see how much more you want to get off. And once you have most of the caramel off, you're going to take it and slide it across the lip of your pan to get any of the excess off the bottom so it won't leave a puddle. Then, directly from there, you're going to take it and put it to anything you want to roll it into. We'll be rolling it in pecans. So you're going to set it right in, and then you're going to take it onto its side and roll it right across the pecans. You can also use Oreos, M&Ms, or peanuts. This is where you're going to let them cool and dry completely, and then you can add any chocolate onto them. We've already let some of ours cool, so I'm going to show you how to drizzle them. This apple has been dipped in caramel, then we let it cool and dry, dipped it in chocolate, and then rolled it in peanuts. But I'm going to add a little bit of drizzle across the top. You can use your fingers or a spoon, whatever you're comfortable with. I'll be using a spoon. So I'm just drizzling it right across the top. Once the chocolate has dried and hardened onto the apple, then you want to package it. You can package it into a bag like we have displayed here, or a box. The important thing is that you want to make sure you leave enough space in your package so the air can get to the apple to keep it fresh. So we've twisty tied the bag, but we've left an opening up at the top so air can get down into it. It's as easy as that. You can be colorful, use your imagination, anything you want, and then you can enjoy.